I'm Ron Fisher, and I'm the Dean of St. Thomas School of Law. And uh, I've had a variety of jobs in the legal profession, uh, both in teaching and in practicing. Uh, but the job I want to tell you a little bit about was my first job that I ever had back in high school. I stocked shelves at the local Walgreens, and I was horrible at that job. It's not because I didn't know how to stock shelves. It's not because I didn't do what I was told. It's because I didn't do anything beyond what I was told. I did the minimum requirement to get by and to get my paycheck. I hadn't internalized anything about the value that customer service should have played in my role. I didn't internalize anything about going above and beyond what was expected in trying to fulfill my job duties. So I did exactly what I was told, but I did nothing else. One of the things we're trying to do at this law school is a process that we call professional formation. And my failure at Walgreens shows the absence of professional formation. When we form ourselves as professionals, we need to do more than learn the technical skills of the job. We need to do more than learn the doctrine of the law, although those things are important too. We need to internalize the values that separate the great lawyers from the mediocre lawyers, the great business and organizational leaders from those who are mediocre. And so at St. Thomas, we really emphasize service to the client, teamwork, listening, critical thinking, analytical ability. There's a whole range of competencies that matter to who you are becoming as a professional. And one way we do that is by educating the whole person, not just teaching you certain things on a cognitive basis, but try to bring your whole person into who you are becoming as a lawyer. So what does that mean? It means giving you opportunities to connect who you are and what you value, what you care about as a person with who you're becoming as a professional. It's a holistic education. It also means equipping you to take responsibility for, to take ownership of some of the hallmark values that have marked the legal profession over the centuries. So let me give you a couple of examples of how we do that. I, uh, I teach one of our first year courses called Foundations of Justice. And what that course aims to do is help you discern the moral and social justice implications of the practice of law. And so the first case you read at St. Thomas in Law School is a case called Buck versus Bell, where the Supreme Court upheld uh, statutes in various states that permitted the forced sterilization of women who were deemed mentally incompetent. In that opinion, Oliver Wendell Holmes uttered this famous line, three generations of imbeciles are enough. Now after we read that case, we have a discussion about it as a class, about what didn't resonate well with us. And that discussion goes all right. And then we go one step further, and we read from a variety of sources different perspectives on human dignity. We read about it from Christian perspectives, from Jewish, from Muslim, from Buddhist perspectives, from utilitarian perspectives, from Kantian philosophy. We bring everything onto the table so we have a full explanation of what human dignity could mean. And then we return to Buck versus Bell and we talk about it. So the, the hope is that our students can better connect who they're becoming as lawyers with some of these broader values that they care about as people. By doing that, we're not just going to give our students deeper satisfaction with the profession they're entering but we're going to make them more effective lawyers because when we represent clients, we're not just representing a bundle of legal interests waiting to be maximized. We're representing real people who care about things like human dignity as well. That's part of what we're doing when we're trying to broaden the conversation here. We have other courses in fields like ethical leadership. We have opportunities for students to reflect on their experience in law school and to really grow from we have an award-winning mentor externship program where right from day one you're taken outside uh, the usual confines of the classroom to understand law from the inside out by having a mentor who's an experienced professional in the field, who's having meaningful conversations with you about what it means to grow professionally. We do all these things and more, and I encourage you to uh, explore our website to learn more about them. It's very important that we keep in our minds the fact that we're educating the whole person 
at St. Thomas Law School. We think that's better in terms of the impact we want to have on society as leading professionals, and we think it's better for you as you're able to invest more of yourself and have greater coherence in who you're becoming as professionals. That's our goal at St. Thomas. I'm happy to talk with any of you uh, more about the way we approach legal education if you're interested, and I encourage you uh, to explore our website. Thanks very much.